Okay, so leather slip sheath. I was asked this morning um, how to go about making one of these if I knew of any tutorial. Uh, they're fairly easy to make. Uh, just the same as you would make a birch bark one. You can make a leather one. You need just something to measure with, something to draw with, and something to cut with. That's it. You can use a knife, exacto knife, scissors, it doesn't matter. Basically what you're gonna need is a piece for your main covering. <clears throat> that will be about as wide as your blade, whatever dimension that is. Uh, and you'll also need a thin, longer piece. Um, that will be what you wrap around with to tighten this. Um, for your length of your main piece, you will take the measurement of the length of your blade and times this by about four. You're going to want to make a couple folds. I'll show you in a second. Oh, you'll also need maybe a dab of super glue. That's what I use. Okay, so get your measurement for your for your blade. You, I've marked mine in the middle here. Um, so you're gonna want to fold this from the end on each side into the middle, just like this. Almost give yourself a tiny little bit less. Same thing on the other side. Just one moment. So you'll end up with something like something like this. And you bend those together one more time. That's the main body of your sheath. Make sure you're bending it good because you're gonna wanna keep this shape. Okay. Okay. Now you take your Oh, I'm sorry. And this this long piece, this thin piece, you want to. I measured this at about. I think about. I got about one about 16 inches. It doesn't matter. You can always cut this to length afterwards uh, when you go to finish. And I think that's what I'll do right now. So you're gonna want to take your piece. I'll fold it again for you. So you take your piece. It's all open like this. I've marked right dead center fold over, almost meet that line, same thing on the other side, fold one more time over yourself, and you're left with this, right, okay, then you take your thin piece, you're going to want to Start at the bottom of your, at least I do, start at the bottom of your sheath. Feed it through, down in. Take your super glue, because you just want to put a dab, make it stick there for a minute. You're going to be stretching this leather around a little. for a second it should stick well enough for you to be pulling here in a second okay next it's super easy you take the leather and you just wrap it around a bunch of times until you're comfortable um, I won't be speeding this video up or anything like that so you're here just kind of stick around until the end if you want to see or skip ahead so you can some people can I mean if you want to go through the outsides of here every second one go in and alternate you can end up with sort of a pattern of 
every second side will get shown. I don't want to do that. Uh, the few that I have done of this, yeah, when you wrap these around the outside several times, you're getting uh, it's stronger. I feel like you can do what you like. We'll be done here in a minute. Right at the very end, when you when you are finished, leave yourself almost enough room in between here to be uh, enough width for this to come through. You'll see. And then you glue the very end, just like you did at the first. You'll want to wrap these a little tight, but not too, too tight. You'll see why at the end. Okay, so I'm going to cut a little bit. I think. Okay. So you'll come through this last bit here. If you can't get this through here, Use like maybe a pair of scissors or something just to push it on through. Yep. There we go. Hold that tight. Stick that super glue in there. And we'll see here in a second, cut that little bit off. Done. Just like this. There you go. You have one. And let's test it out. There we go. This blade is about the same as a Moro 106 in length and similarly width. We'll try this out. Boom. There you go. One last thing. When you're handling these slip sheaths, be careful. Don't ever push it up off with your thumb. Uh, you really have to pay attention what side your blade is in fact on and that's it i hope uh someone found this enjoyable and useful